Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here at the Ranger Z520R 2022 model Ranger boat, trying to get all the electronics lined out. And what I'm learning is that when you're dealing with an amount of wires that looks like spaghetti, kind of like that, active target boxes, hydro wave, and different things like that, it can be kind of overwhelming, but the main thing is you want to have direct power from your very back power source, your battery in the back compartment, all the way to the front. And the guys up there at White River Marine Ranger Boats ran the Sea Clear, which is this guy right here. They ran the Sea Clear all the way, you know, they attached it to my main battery power source in the very back of the boat in the battery compartment back there and they ran it up along the side of my Ranger and made it super convenient where, boom, it just pops out right here underneath the bow panel right here. And that's gonna give me uninterrupted power. What I mean by uninterrupted power, nothing else is pulling off of it. When you have other things connected to your power source, you know, pushing in here and coming in here and everything's drawn off of it, you want just that super clean, crisp power back from your battery compartment all the way to the front and that sea clear is going to give me that it's going to enable me to have an amazing um, active target image but also my uh, transducer right here on the very bottom just everything that i'm running up at the front is going to have amazing power it's going to have crisp clean images and make the best pictures and i'll be able to see the the detail that i need to see so i can catch some fish that uh, maybe i would not have otherwise so the Sea Clear power source running all the way to the front. It's got some pretty interesting connectors here. New to me because you know I'm not very mechanical. It makes a real nice junction right there. And so again, I'm going to be able to run my power. You know, after I run my fuses, here's my power cable out of my active target box, right here. I'm going to be able to run those wires in there and and just get again that clean power. So just a quick video here guys it's important when you're dealing with super high-end electronics these Lowrance 15 inch units or 16 inch units and then also a 212s up here you need the best power source that you can precision sonar has the c clear i've heard other guys talk about it guys that are you know really into their electronics and they talk about how important it is to get that crisp clean power all the way to your electronics so this year that's what i'm running in my ranger Super pumped about it. Gonna actually run two units at the front of my boat this year, which that's new for me. I've never done that before, but uh, got this uh, double stacked precision sonar or a dual mount, I should say, that's gonna run right into the bow plate of my Ranger. I'm gonna do another video that goes over everything because you're spending a lot of money to have the very best and latest and greatest technology in these Lowrance units and other types of units uh, so you can see what's underneath the water. So it's super important to get everything done correctly. And I'm learning that and um, a little bit, little late to the party compared to some of these other guys on tour, but better late than never. So that's kind of it right now, guys. Just wanted to drop in a quick video that shares kind of what you need to think about when you're running these types of uh, active target transducers, forward shooting technologies. Thanks for tuning into my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Love to hear from you guys.